When the new state attorney general decided to dismiss ongoing criminal charges in the Flint water crisis, that came with a hefty price tag, $30 million of your money. That's how much the state has spent in the last two and a half years on everything because you paid for prosecutors as well as defense attorneys. So we want to know what you think. Is all that money spent on the Flint water criminal cases a waste of taxpayer dollars? Log on to WXYZ.com slash vote to tell us how you feel. In the meantime, 7 Action News reporter Jim Kurtzner breaks down all that spending. Here's one way to look at this. Flint is a city of about 100,000 people. That's 300 bucks for every man, woman, and child. And is that money now just down the drain with the charges dropped? One former member of the prosecution team says no. The, the charges that were leveled, I think, were, were investigated and um, solid evidence was presented. So in that case, I, know I, I would disagree with them. Team put together by the former Michigan Attorney General included these four front men, but also 96 other attorneys, investigators, support staff, experts. They issued 59 charges against 15 people. Five people were convicted or took plea deals, but get this, no one did any time in jail, no one paid any fines. One third of the money paid for that, Todd Flood was the lead special prosecutor. Let's put this in perspective. We had a $10 million contract, I think $8 million was approximately spent. Um, that pales in comparison to, you know, the airbag investigation or any other type of investigation with this type of uh, amount of material. This is... Uh, a shame and unfortunately they they have to catch up but uh, you hope you hope and pray that uh, this doesn't take as much time and money and effort because we had advanced the uh, investigation so far already former governor rick snyder who was not charged spent eight and a half million of your tax money on attorneys for him and his office and he approved your money to go to defense attorneys for state officials charged some of those firms were paid more than a million dollars each. I'm not going to criticize anybody. Uh, I can stand proud with the team's work that we did. The $30 million figure was provided by the state as of January. That means the meters are still running as the new investigation gets underway. Jim Kurtzner, 7 Action News. Thank you, Jim.